Hey guys, so today I thought I'd show you a little bit about how I make a file folder game. So I have made quite a few of these for my kids and I'm always looking for new ones, um, but they aren't always that easy to find. They have a lot that you can buy, like pay for, but these ones that I find are free uh, as long as they're like personal use, So, which is all I use them for. Um, but this one was from itsybitsyfun.com and it had a, a bunch of spring activities, so that's where a bunch of these are from today. So I'm going to show you how to make this butterfly one. I've already done some of the laminating, so like these ones are laminated, and then I've got some that aren't laminated. This is a matching game for ice cream, and this is alphabet, so you put the, you glue the flowers down and then the, the bees would go on the flowers, so match the alphabet. And it's upper and lowercase, which my kids need to learn, so that will be a good one. And then, um, I, er so this is half of the butterfly game. I, um, thought I had finished it, and then I realized that I needed to print it out twice. So this is half the game, this is half the game, there are no matches, so I have to, uh, figure out which one it looks like this one so, oh, sorry so it looks like this sheet will have to go here and then this sheet will have to be made into these little pieces so that's what we'll do for this game and then that game will be done so I will start cutting out this page and then I'll tape it there there's that. And now, um, I mean, I'm not a perfectionist with this type of stuff because the kids don't care if things are a little crooked or <laughs> off-center, you know, but if you are, it might be a little bit, you just might need to spend a little bit more time. Um, but so what I do is I take, Lori, it's loud. So I take the tape, I try to measure it as best I can. Again, not going to be too picky. Then, uh, then I take my scissors, sorry, and these aren't the greatest scissors for tape, but, uh, but they're my junk scissors, so, there we go, okay, then, so that looks like it's just about, ah, no, uh oh, so now you can see what happens if you make a mistake. <laughs> Basically, if you make a mistake, you gotta leave it on there, because otherwise it's gonna rip, so. Alright, so that's okay. But that's essentially the idea. Okay, next piece. Let's see if I can do this one a little bit better. Oh, alright. There we go, that's more of what we want to see. That is essentially how you do it, and you go all the way down until it looks like this. I'll see even here, I got it off a little bit, see that? But that's okay, I'll leave that, that's, that's not a big deal. So I'm going to cut all these out, and then I will get my laminator, and I will show you how to use a laminator. It's not all that difficult, but sometimes, I mean, you know, but if it's your first time using it, it's kind of helpful to see how it works, so. Let me do that. I figured I'd show you a few more things. So I finished taping and I did have a little bit, now this is gonna be really hard to see, a little bit of extra uh, lapping over there. So just literally, you just cut into the file folder just a tiny bit. And then it doesn't leave anything sticky or anything, you know, there. So see, like just, Literally a little teensy tiny bit of the file folder there. Alright, so there's the finished tape down, like, playing board. Um, and then I thought I'd show you my laminator. Um, so I'm going to turn it on 
it takes a long time to warm up. It takes, it takes probably, um, I don't know, a good five minutes to warm up. Um, so, let's see. Let's take this off. So this is my laminator. It is a Scotch TL901. I, I honestly don't remember, like, what it's called when you buy it. Um, but it works really well. Uh, I really like it. I don't use it, like, super frequently, but when I have used it, it's always worked perfectly. It's a little bit dusty, but it, do it doesn't get dust anywhere when I laminate. It's a little weird here, warming up. So this is the power button you turn it on, and then it'll turn green when it's ready. And then to laminate, I use these um, Scotch Thermal Laminating Pouches. So they come in a little bag, and you just take one out, and then they just open like this. Okay. So, here are my little cut up ones that I just cut up. Well, I don't know, I think I did it the other way last time. These should all fit in one sheet, I think, so. You don't have to get them spaced too, too far apart. So I try to leave like a little bit, like that's probably enough space on the side there and then just between the pieces. Ah, uh, see so I have a little bit more space. Okay, so once you have them all laid out, then typically what I do is I take, like, another file folder works fine, but I like to slide it under and then I'll show you how to put it in the laminator and you have to when I um I'll show you a mistake I made um actually I think it's on this one so this file folder went through the laminator on accident <laughs> so you can kind of like see this big crease so I mean it went I was laminating some you know like something like this and I had the folder so it just laminated the sheet but then it just took the folder with it but but the folder is fine it just has a crease on the back it's the first time that's ever happened to me and then another mistake I made was with this one um, the laminator got stuck on the floor so it was um, as it comes out it you know it's angled down a little bit so it was hitting the floor and it wasn't moving so I grabbed it and I started to pull it but it wouldn't come and I was like oh so I you know, but I didn't want it to get jammed, so I pulled it harder, and then it came out, and the pieces are fine, but they're just very, very creased. So, I was like, I could remake these three letters, but I'm not gonna. And then the other thing I thought I could show you is, while the laminator's warming up, is what if uh, you don't have a sheet like this, where it's just easy to tape down, what if you have actual pieces? Oh, the laminator smells a little bit just so you know. It smells a bit like plastic, burning plastic. <laughs> it's a very pleasant smell. All right, so <laughs> for this one, let's see if it opens like this. Um, try to think of how I want the ice cream. Probably just, you know, probably just like this. I like to try to lay it out to make sure that they're all gonna fit. Um, I don't know how many there are, so if I have six on a page, I, th I think I have more than 12, but I'll see. Oh no, look, I have 12. Okay, awesome. I'm trying to figure out how I want to tape these down, so I might do it this way, because it's kind of cooler looking, um, and it kind of breaks up all the pink. There's a lot of pink in this pu in this little puzzle thing. Let's see how I'm going to tape this down, because I'm really not sure <laughs> if I want to do it one ice cream at a time, or try and do a row. I guess I'll go with this piece first, and I'll just tape down one ice cream. 
first. So now I have a longer piece. So I'm gonna try and tape this whole row down and see if that works better or worse. <laughs> That works okay. All right, so now just go along like that, or I could tape it individually too if that's easier. Um, but yeah, so that is how you tape like individual pieces. It just takes a little bit more concentration. So I thought I'd just show you guys how this turned out. It looks like I got a little air bubble there, but that's okay. Um, so this is how it turned out. So I think it looks pretty nice. All right, so here is the laminator. Hopefully this is a good angle. Um, but so what I do is, oh, oh no, oh. Now I have to reposition the things that fell out of place. So you gotta try to be careful and not jostle it. I am doing a really poor job, but that's okay, because then I get to show all the mistakes. Okay, so that's fine. All right, so carefully, what I like to do is slide it off the file folder a little, and then I usually hold it down. And you just push it until you feel the machine grab it, and you'll be able to feel it. And then I hold the file folder here until it reaches the end of the tray. And then you can just drop it. And then as it comes out, it's going to be a little warm. But, I mean, it's not going to burn you. Mine doesn't burn me, uh, at least. And so it'll start coming out and I have to hold it so that it's not going to hit the floor again and bend some of our pieces. So all you do is you just let it come out on its own. You don't pull or anything. And when it's finished, it'll stop moving. So there, it stopped moving. So you just pull it out. And then since I don't have anything else to laminate, I turn it off. So that is how the laminator works. So I'll put that away in a minute. And then you have your laminated sheets. And they're nice and warm. And pretty <laughs> and then you have to cut them out so more cutting so I will cut these out uh, later I'll show you actually um, how I cut out at least one so typically what I do is I go through and I cut them all into I mean it, de it really depends on what you're cutting out so for me for this one I would just cut them into little rectangles like this So I would just go around like that and cut them all out into rectangles and then when you want to cut out your individual one, I like to make sure the corners are a little bit rounded and you don't want to get too close but you can get pretty close. And then around, makes a nice little crunchy sound. have your laminated extra and then you have your laminated piece and none of the corners are pokey so there you go so I hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial of how to make a file folder game and I hope it was helpful um, so let me know oh, I haven't finished cutting these out but let me know um, if you make file folder games or if you're gonna think about trying to make one um, or if you, you know, just anything that you're thinking. These aren't mixed up enough. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Alright. Bye, guys.